Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Epcot. I came out to continue my food adventure around World Showcase. We dined at all the restaurants that are open at the moment and we only have one to go and that is the Rosen Crown Dining Room. It just recently reopened from a refurbishment so I am very hungry and very excited. Let's go do this. It took me three months. I started in January 2021 and now it is the end of March for me to complete this whole entire food adventure around World Showcase. And after today, I think we've eaten at every single restaurant that's open. If you want to watch any of those other videos, I will put the uh, links in the description below. And plus I have a little playlist. And it was all about just basically increasing my palate and trying new things. That's what inspired me to do this whole entire World Showcase adventure because I'm a pretty picky eater. So every single restaurant that I went to, I've ordered something that I wouldn't normally order. And uh, I'm so grateful that I did because I have increased my palate and I tried so many new things and it's been just an absolute wonderful experience. And like I said previously, the Rosen Crown was closed for a while where the dining room was because they were doing renovations to the kitchen. So now that it's open, I don't think they added any new additions to the menu. I think it's still the same menu, but you can actually order food in there and dine. And of course, once we get done dining, we're gonna come out and explore the United Kingdom Pavilion. And I like to show off some little Easter eggs or hidden Mickeys and just talk about how beautiful this pavilion is. I have eaten here before in the past, but I've never done like a dining, dining review. And I'm kind of excited because it is a really nice restaurant. Not too much seating on the inside, but they have this outdoor sitting area that has heat lamps. Like, isn't that fancy? It's really warm in here and uh, it keeps the wind from blowing all over the place. I did actually ask for a table inside though, because I really wanted to sit in the dining room. But outside dining is just as beautiful. Take a look at that view. You can really see all of World Showcase and the new harmonious barges. It's very pretty out here. The inside of the dining room is decorated so nice. I absolutely love the cozy atmosphere. We're by a fireplace, obviously it's not lit, but this is really fun. They even have a dartboard up there. I like it a lot. I lucked out and I was able to get the table that I actually sat on for St. Patrick's Day and I really like this spot because you got a good view of everywhere in the dining room. I was sitting right there and I was able to just watch everyone come in and go to the bar to get their favorite pub blends and it's really nice in here. Normally when I'm at the Rosen Crown I go with a heart but today I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and I'm gonna do a pub blend basically where they mix up the different types of alcohol and non-alcoholic drinks and uh, try something different. Right here underneath pub blends you can see they have like the golden imperial and then they have a golden fox. My friend Tampa J likes that golden fox. They have half and halves and then even down below I thought this one was really funny a shandy but it was half sprite and half harp. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get. Maybe I'll just go with a black and tan. Now that my black and tan is here I can take my mask off and enjoy a little bit. So uh, cheers. You guys thought I was going all in on that, didn't you? Oh yeah, I know. Now the difficult thing is deciding on what to eat. So we've already discussed that I've had the fish and chips outside and I might want to get the fish and chips in here, but in the past I have had the pub burger. So we're definitely not getting the pub burger. And uh, I guess we're gonna look at the menu. <laughs> that might be important. Of course we got fish and chips, bangers and mash, shepherd's pie. That's the pub burger I had and I really did enjoy it. It was very delicious. They have a chicken marsal, they have a savory impossible hot pot. Lots of good options. And then for starters, let's see what they got going on there. Oh yeah, we got United Kingdom cheese platter, a coronation salad, a scotch egg, and a soup of the day. I wonder what the soup of the day is. 
after talking about all the different food options with the waitress, I decided on getting the shepherd's pie. I've never had it here before and I'm excited to try it. It was between that and the chicken curry and she actually told me that chicken curry is very popular in England. So let me know if it is. I mean, I was like, really? I had no idea. But let me know in the comments if that's a true thing or not. But I decided with the shepherd's pie and she's gonna see if I can get like a fish and chips a la carte. Like I wanna just try the fish to see if it's different from the one out there and uh, maybe we'll pair them up together. She came over and told me they were allowed to add that one piece of fish and chips on for me and they brought out a little tartar sauce and vinegar on a fancy little plate. Look at this. I wonder what it says on the bottom. Oh yeah, that's fancy. Oh! I did not do that. Luckily, I was able to catch that tartar with my shirt. So, good thing for that. We're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to tartar up here. <laughs> huh, well now I just found out that it is uh, the same fish. Well, it's hake. It's just cut differently inside the dining room compared to outside. And you get a bigger portion, so nine ounces in here, and uh, it's cut differently, so that's what makes it different. I had no idea, I thought it was different types of fish. I guess the more you learn. But take a look at this. Here it is, I got my little fish and chips. Well, I don't even know why I say fish and chips when it's just fish on the side. And I got my shepherd's pie. I did get it without the cheddar cheese though. I know a lot of people are like, what the heck? I just don't like the cheddar cheese. It's a little too sharp for me. So I decided to opt out on that and see what's underneath those potatoes. First though, I think I'm gonna ooh, take my hat off because we're at a dining table and uh, I'm going to try the fish. So. That's good. That is really, really good. I like it a lot. It's very thick. Like I noticed the one outside. So that might be what they're talking about when they say it's cut differently because the one outside it definitely has like more of a thinner inside, but I guess it's all by the weight. Regardless though, I think both fish and chips are delicious. And now I gotta finish up my beer. I think mostly now it's just a tan though. I wanna dive into the shepherd's pie. So I don't know how I'm gonna kinda do this. I wanna show you guys a little bit on the inside. Maybe I'll cut it from here, yeah. And then kinda like, look, take a look in there. Oh yeah. You see that steam coming out? This is gonna be good. I am very excited to try this. Look at the little peas and the carrots in there. I call it a winner here. Very, very delicious. I'm gonna get a lot more of the uh, meat in there, yeah. And I like peas too. The one thing about eating shepherd's pie though is I constantly have the feeling like I'm gonna get to crust eventually like some kind of hard bottom But there's nothing there. It's just mashed potatoes and it kind of like messes with my head because it looks like a pie Because normally I would get the bangers and mash But the point of this is to try things that I haven't tried before and I've already tried the Welsh burger and I've already tried the fish and chips so I went with this and I do like it and I like the fact that there are big chunks of ground beef inside of it and also the carrots aren't really mushy so there is like a kind of crunch texture to it at least but I think I would rather get the bangers and mash like you know what I mean like so if I was just sticking to what I would want to get instead of trying something different I probably would revert back and get the bangers and mash just my opinion it's still very delicious though I really like this now let's look at the desserts and we have sticky toffee pudding and an English trife. I might want the trife. Layers of strawberries, vanilla custard, graham cracker, and whipped cream. That sounds right up my alley. Yep, that's the one. I was not expecting this, but wow, doesn't that look amazing? Oh boy, I don't know what to do here. I'm just gonna kind of mix it in a little bit and then pull out a bite. <laughs> this is gonna be good, much too good. <laughs> this 
is absolutely amazing. Wow. So, so good. The graham cracker is on point. I really love all of it. It also looks like it's pretty easy to make at home. So I might try to make this at home one day. I do need to invest in some of these fancy glasses. I really don't have many cups at the house. Just coffee cups. But I could do this. Maybe I can make one in a coffee mug. My Haunted Mansion one. I am legit like scraping it here. <laughs> Gonna get every last bite. There we go. Oh yeah. Perfect. And with that English trife, I am now way too full to function. <laughs> Honestly, it was so good though, and I had to finish up all of it. The fish and chips, well, I keep on saying fish and chips like it goes hand in hand. The fish, plus the shepherd's pie, plus the English trife, that is a big meal. And uh, wow, like I said, I feel satisfied. And it was really cheap too, like my whole entire experience. So I got the pint of beer, I got the shepherd's pie, I got the fish and chips again, and the trife. And it only was, uh, I think, $48 with my discount. It's not too shabby. Now I kind of just want to explore around the pavilion a little bit and show you guys some cool things. Unfortunately, all of the shops are closed. Like, there's nothing open over here. The Crown Crest is closed, and that always reminds me of my friend Olivia because she uh, met her husband while she was working here at the college program. And uh, yeah, it makes me a little sad. I wanted to show you some cool stuff. Even though the stores are closed, I still like to take a peek see inside and just look around. I don't know, something about like abandoned storefronts, especially in Disney, kind of like makes me curious. This is where Winnie the Pooh used to meet, and we're gonna take a look inside <laughs> the glass here. This is the kid cot spot. Just like seeing what's going on in there. There's a big box, it has a gigantic wine bottle in it. Do you see it? How fancy is that? I don't know how well you can see it. There you go. That is so strange that that's in there. I also like to always try to point out a hidden Mickey. And there's a good hidden Mickey here that everybody walks past and a lot of people don't even see it. Right across from the Rose and Crown, if you look up at some of the signage, you might be able to spot the hidden Mickey. I'm not going to show you exactly where it's at, but if you can spot it out, let me know in the comments. It's pretty obvious. I think that is a really unique hidden Mickey because it's not your traditional circle, 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 and it's kind of like special. You know what I mean? There's a couple places that are still open that serve some unique merchandise. The tea caddy is one of them. And as we go through there, we'll go into the queen's table and we'll show you some cool stuff that they have for sale. They have a lot of great tea selections in here for everyone that fancies a spot of tea. And I just like this store itself. Look at it. <laughs> and also, I remember coming here and getting hot toddies. Sometimes during the festivals, they actually have a hot beverage stand right here. And it's always good. It never disappoints. They have a lot of cool t-shirts like Never Grow Up from Peter Pan. It says Epcot World Showcase. And then over here, they have a United Kingdom Spirit jersey. I like this. I thought that I seen a fanny pack in here too. But I think the fanny pack's gone. I know there's a lot of fanny pack enthusiasts out there. I might want to get this, actually. I don't know why. It looks really nice, but it's white. That's my only issue. I tend to drop things on my shirt, like tartar sauce. But I guess tartar sauce is okay to drop on white shirts because it won't stain. I really like this Rose and Crown hoodie right here. Beer and stew for the working few. And then check out the back. This is really awesome. It says, <laughs> mind your P's and Q's, pull up a proper pint. That's fancy. They also have some cool Rose and Crown signs and even this really cool magnet says, it's always beer o'clock. <laughs> I'm gonna need that. The sign is $40 though. I think that's a little too pricey for me. And take a look at the fancy housewares. They've got oven mitts and towels. It says United Kingdom Epcot World Showcase. I don't know what the other one says. I try not to touch everything, so I try to hold it like this. Oh, it's Rosen Crown. Yeah, because it's in the back of that shirt. Oh, I like this. I don't know how much it is, though. Those towels were only 20 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal. They also have some fancy sprays here. And I think I might uh, take a little spray. Like, put it on my... Yeah, there we go. I don't want to be smelling like tartar sauce later on. 
Well, I think that probably smells a little bit better than the tartar sauce, so I'm happy with that. And now I'm coming out to the tea garden, and I was hoping to catch Alice, but I don't think she's out and about today, unless she's in the gazebo. She's not in the gazebo, but Mary's in the gazebo, and I love Mary. Mary and Bert are my favorite together. Like during the Christmas parade, they were so fun to watch. Mary's actually got a big crowd out in front of her and it's really cool to see kids excited to see her I think that's so awesome because you know what I mean like I grew up with Mary Poppins I love Mary Poppins and now seeing another generation that's still excited to see her and that just makes me happy Like it really does She's literally telling these boys how they need to stand for a photo. That is classic Mary Bye <laughs> Aww. Now see, she's got a big line going all the way down there. They still have the pay phones over here though. I don't know if they're open. Oh yeah, they are open. So you can go inside here and you can make a call. Old Florida Outfitters. I think somebody put that there. I remember when pay phones had phone numbers like in the back there and I would get them sometimes and I would call people and like just wait to see if somebody would answer. I don't know if they do that anymore. I, I think it gets a little hot in here after a while. I wouldn't suggest coming in here like uh, during a hot summer day unless you want to sweat it out. Look at my glasses are fogging up. My glasses fog up all the time. Probably got an echo in here as well. All right, I think I'm done here. Oh. And it looks like the rain is starting to come down here. So I think we're gonna make a slow exit out of the park. It's definitely a pretty consistent drizzle here. Can't tell if my glasses are wet or if the camera lens is wet. But yeah, I'm gonna start making my way out to Spaceship Earth. I was thinking about hopping in line and maybe doing a ride, but Test Track is down at the moment. And whenever Test Track goes down, all the other wait times go up big time because there's nobody actually like holding up that queue and spreading it out. And I think uh, Figment is at a uh, 45 minute wait. 45 minutes, that's crazy. So now I have to decide on either doing Spaceship Birth or the Seas with Nemo and Friends. Not too sure yet. I mean, I do love Spaceship Birth because I love the smell of Rome burning, but then Nemo swimming out to sea. I couldn't say no to Rome burning, so Spaceship Earth it is. There it is. Everybody say cheese! Like a grand and miraculous spaceship, our planet has sailed through the universe of time. Seated time travelers. Attention travelers, please remain seated. Your time is going to And with that, I think we are done here today. I loved all my food at the Rosen Crown and absolutely enjoyed my ride on Spaceship Earth. It's so cool just being able to take a casual ride and pay attention to the details and 
I soak it all up as much as I can. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We will see you next time. Bye.